Hello guys and welcome back again to my channel. So um, might have to apologize for a little bit since it's been a very long time since the last time I have ever um, made a new update about my video. I mean I do still upload my videos although most of them were stories based so none of them uh, are about my um, challenge or so. Uh, so today I believe that uh, this is well this will be the first time in a long time since uh, the last time I talk in the, my videos. And so you can see uh, these are a couple of enemies, so there are uh, some enemies that need a couple of elements. And I will focus Ito on enemies that I think does not require any elements since he is a mono geo team, although I like two completely uh, two good characters that should be paired with him, which is uh, Jolly and Albedo. Uh, it's been a long time since the last time I see Albedo, so yeah, you know. Uh, he hasn't been here for a long time and so in this team I currently have two uh, Teams available to me, which is the Ito Mono Geo team and the bloom uh, No, I'll say the spread team the electro dendro reaction and here we have Hu Tao with uh, Yelan, so I think uh, They need Hu Tao needs vaporize which is um, pyro with hydro and so uh, I will Heavily, uh, I will give the first team the buff they need, which is the pyro and hydro. And then the second team, they need, they don't really need um, too much. Charge attack, charge attack would be great. And there's also normal attack, which uh, I don't know if how how would it how it would be useful. However, I think it would still be would still benefit from uh, charge attack and uh, normal attack. So I think it's a it's a good idea to go with that for Ito. I don't see any other any other uh, buffs that are of good value for this, and I think uh, I'm going to go with this buff. So let's get started. Okay, uh, first challenge. So um, well, before this one, I already did it, and uh, the first time it, I flopped because I forgot how to use the thing, but. Worry not, I've learned myself and uh, today let's do it. So first challenge is this one. So I usually start off with these rings to make sure that I kill all of them very quickly. Um, you can use my strategy or not, I usually just go off with that ring, boom. And you will be left off with these enemies. I would, uh, I, I actually don't know how to use Yelan since uh, this is literally my first time. But I know how to use Hu Tao which is to uh, use the skill and to charge attack cancel and whatever you want to call that. I actually discovered uh, attack cancel when I used Noelle for normal attack and that's what I realized that if I sprint, she attacks faster. I did not know it was a feature at all, so okay, maybe that is. And the next batch of enemies, our uh, power, up, power up is ready. Uh, I actually forgot what it's called, but I just call them the ring. Our ring is ready, so we just need to attack a bunch of enemies. And uh, one of the things that uh, you would pair with Hu Tao is uh, Sing Chiu because um, uh, there are some hydro imbued while you attack. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have Sing Chiu upgraded, so I'll use the alternative, which is what we have currently, which is Mona and uh, Yelan. So it's going pretty well, actually. Just know how to time stuff, time your stuff, and uh, there you go. Hu Tao's burst is ready. Let's try it out. There you go. It didn't kill him. Well, uh, so you just repeat them all over again. So, uh, and then that's it. And you will have these, uh, what I call is the final enemies. So you do the rings to the final enemies, they're gone. When you meet final enemies, they will appear again until the time runs out. So they are called final enemies for a reason because they are the one who will keep appearing, I mean spawning. Uh, until the time ends. So, well, you're basically going to face the exact same enemies anyway, and my uh, my advice to you is uh, use the rings at them. You don't want to defeat them with the with the little. I mean, in comparison to their HP, with the little time you have, you're not gonna want it. All right, so we're going to the other round, or in the abyss, it's the other room, other chamber, whatever that second half. And here, um, I would just want to try a couple of things, so I'm not going to use the ring right away. So this is what I call the spread, so I uh, intentionally do some reactions here and there. And this is where I can do reactions, so I'm going to use my ring here. 
it is important for you to uh, keep your ring <coughs> long enough so that you can use them to the final enemies. And so in this case, always prioritize your shield because we have nobody that can heal here. So yeah, it's going to be very important. And as you can see, uh, let's just use the rings here. There you go. So long as you have uh, enough time to, do, to use the rings at your final enemies, you should be fine. It, there shouldn't be any problems with it. Okay, and of course, uh, use the Nari first to uh, improve his skill. This is our final enemy, so... Okay, so use Yaimiko for Electro, uh, Nahida for the Dendro, as you can see at that. Use Tinari skill to, I mean burst, to uh, increase the crit damage or that. And then skill before you charge attack, so that your charge attack duration will be much faster, so therefore you can do much more damage. Uh, however, I think my Tinari has an excess in energy recharge, so uh, the result is that he always has his burst full, like most of the time. That is actually a waste uh, if you have too much energy recharge, because you can only uh, recharge your burst so, burst so fast, so long as your um, cooldown allow it, allows it. So um, yeah, it could be a problem, but however, I see them as a blessing. Okay, this is uh, one of the most important thing. Always uh, kill your enemy if your enemy is HP, uh, there's only like a couple of HP left, always kill your enemy so that you don't waste your rings for uh, your current enemy and therefore you could um, kill them much better. Alright, so um, this is uh, the third um, chamber and again, uh, <laughs> I forgot to use the ring, uh, so that's why I used Noel's burst but I mean shield but no problem, we can still recover from that. I use Goro and Ito, this is a uh, kind of important. So uh, when you use his burst, uh, make sure that uh, you, his, his charge attack is usable so that uh, you're not wasting anything. And as you can see, uh, he he literally killed those enemies very fast. So yeah, he was pretty built. And uh, look at that, he got his uh, signature weapon or something like that. Um, we call it Zhuangwu. It's like a optimal weapon, or however you might trans translate it, and use the ring here. And as long as, so long as you can keep the ring for your uh, final enemies, you should be fine. There shouldn't be any problems uh, to use them right away. Uh, always make sure that your ring charging is not completely full. And here we go. So this is our final enemies, which is like this uh, dinosaur or whatever, whatever you call them, and this um, ruin guard. Yeah. And so, see, uh, it's full, and I immediately use it. Always uh, try to strategize and use uh, a good strategy for that. Management is uh, it's not really complicated, but it's very hard to get uh, to get it right, especially. And after I realized that. There are three medals here, right? The bronze, the silver, and the gold. There's also another um, medal, which is the platinum. Platinum is very hard to get. You, you essentially, essentially have to get 20,000, which uh, is very impossible unless you get your character right. See, it needs planning and a strong team. However, I have neither. My planning is good, but not good enough for 20,000. And my team, however, does not do enough damage to cause all that chaos. And I will show you here today. We got 15,000, which is still about 5,000 off from the 20,000 it required for you to get platinum. So yeah, it really does feel like a challenge. And here we are given uh, Nahida and Venti. So I don't, I'm, I might see why you would pair both of them together, so long as you have a healer such as Gogomi, which I don't have right now. And of course, I keep Ito at the third team because they don't require elements. So long as you don't require elements, it'll be Ito's team that handles it. So I think I might be able to make uh, Dendro Reaction work in the second enemy. I don't know. The first enemy kind of already has Hydro going on, so uh, I don't know if I should um, use all that. 
Um, maybe. So um, I need someone to sustain the life, that gets the support for life. I either a shield or a healer. So I do still need at least a shield. Lila could work or a healer, uh, which I think Okishinobu should do a great job. However. Um, I don't think uh, I can manage that very well. If I use this team, currently it has no reaction. I don't know what kind of reaction, or should we swap them both? I think I think I'm just um, okay. I think we should uh, use. I mean, move Yai yeah, here since the first enemy already has some sort of elements, which is hydro. I think that would do danger reaction pretty well. Okay, there are some electro buffs. You know where it's going to the only team where there is any electro character at all. The first team, okay, maybe some dendro buffs, and um, that's it. Uh, I don't think there are any other things that I can change from this one. I I think hmm, maybe let's let's replace a few characters. Let's add Tinari here instead of doubling our Venti. Let's double our Tinari. It should be fine. Hmm. Okay. Um, I think I think let's go with this one. I think or or we should should we use Yai on both or should, let's just um, I actually don't know. So um, do we usually bid like the air mites with our spreading quickly? I think in Abyss we do. Um, however, I don't know which reaction could handle it. So I think I'm going to need other elements such as hydro. Maybe that could work. Um, let's go. Let's see what we can do. So, uh, so that we still need dendro, dendro, and uh, there is no electro. So maybe elemental mastery could help, or maybe this one. Okay, dendro core because of course hydro and dendro. The last team doesn't really need any of this because it's geo. Geo does not need any other element, especially elemental mastery because geo does not need anything. You know, when you get yourself an Ito team and you are forced to pick one of those elements, you're screwed. Like, uh, like you are literally using Ito for... Uh, Ito is just one element, it, so yeah, you're screwed. And here, there is uh, Hydro by default, so yeah, it, it's pretty clear why I don't have any other um, elements here. <laughs> Because you don't need them. Uh, there's hydro by default, uh, which is why this is a I I like I well, well like how I like to call it the power of default. Uh, there is already hydro, so why do you need a hydro character as at least on this challenge? Like what I can see, and now we got ourselves um, hydro Adolon. They made a reappearance, I think. Well, okay, let's just do whatever we can. Strategy, strategy is still the same. Um, but because we are missing uh, Yaya right now, so we use Mona for emergency. If, for example, we can't trigger uh, Dendro Core from our Bloom reaction. However, uh, we are limited to Bloom, literally. Which, uh, on the other hand, you might find really uh, great or not, depending on what kind of team you have. Okay, I, I literally forgot to use Fenty. I, I just like I don't know. I just forget sometimes. I do put put the fourth character there. <laughs> sometimes I just put the character there and forgot their goal and never used them. That could be my mistake. I, I mean, the fourth character is somewhat useful when you don't use them, like for the elemental. Um, uh, I don't know, like uh, calibration or harmony or like that. I call them elemental harmony, like when you put two elements together, you can get kind of like a buff going on. Um, yeah, it, it was kind of useful that way, but however, um, I'm not going to um, brag too much about it here uh, since, yeah, our task here is to just make dendro cores and uh, wait for them to explode. That's our only job. Uh, Nilo would help if only I have her. And any other reaction to explode the dendro core faster would also help if I had any other elements such as pyro or electro, which is definitely not the case. Okay, get. Let's get ourselves ready for our second round here today, which uh, still contains our Naida. I mean, Naida literally fits in every single team. You cannot skip her. She was absolute. Um, I mean, she was absolute. Um, uh, I mean, flexible. 
I, I think that's uh, how to describe it. Uh, I'm inflexible in a way that uh, does not destroy the game. I mean, yeah, because you can use her in pretty much every single team so long as to not include a Cryo or Geo. I mean, in the, in the sense that you use Cryo or Geo to damage, neither of it. That's the point. So, um, well, she fits in so many teams. Um, I mean, it might not be the most optimal, but she fits, which is great. Uh, okay, we have... It's okay, it's not our first time meeting those air mites. I think the first time is uh, in the 3.0 update or whatever. The Abyss, of course. The first time I meet enemies is always in the Abyss, because, well, I've trained enough to defeat them. It's not a problem. I know their weaknesses, I know which to strike. I always know which one is the hardcore enemies. I know that you have to kill their path first. And I know that I can use these rings to kill them off faster. Okay. Alright, see? It was so easy, and on their final enemies, they will keep appearing, spawning again and again, and your job is to do the exact same thing, and make, make sure it's faster, and then oh, I realized that um, my rings is already charged, my time's running out, and they only have half the HP left, and I have to make a gamble. Should I kill them, and uh, poten potentially risk losing my time, or should I kill them off faster with a ring, and potentially living the next enemy with so little time that I have, it's um yeah you know you know you know what kind of situation that you have already got yourself into like okay sometimes uh, it's hard to make decisions especially in this in this one I mean those decisions does not make any differences or any uh like sort of like point at all because I'm not aiming for platinum but you guys that might aim for platinum you might weigh in those decisions to try to pick the best answer or the best outcome. However, um, I don't care, so let's just go. Uh, so these are, um, let's just call it the Inazuma enemies. Uh, it's it's like, let's just call it um, Inazuma and Aramites, whatever. Y you can call them Samurai, but I don't think they have... I don't think you can call them... Uh, the samurai is like the, the big guy with the sword, there's two guys there. So how do you call them? Kairagi. I think they call them Kairagi. Yeah, Kairagi. So, uh, yeah, we're, with... I'll just call them um, the, the treasure hoarder of every single nation. Whenever I meet quote unquote human type enemies, I always use Ito because elements does not matter. I mean, aside from the Fatui, Fatui is still human, right? Uh, aside from the Fatui, elements don't matter. matter. So, I always use. I mean, I can use element neutral team. Element neutral. I mean, Ito is literally Geo, but Geo really doesn't react. It's like the noble gas of the game. They don't react, so, well, it doesn't really matter. And sometimes when, uh, I just call them the pairings, like the uh, samurai pair, when you kill one of them, the other one will get buffed and uh, will refill their HP somehow. Okay, this sounds straight out of the movie. I know, but yeah, there are a pretty like some uh, sort of strategy that you have to follow to defeat them. Make sure like you defeat both of them near or at the same time to make sure one of them does not get stronger. Which is definitely not a thing I can keep up with. Um, you know, my team is not that strong to aim for those 20,000 I'm, I'm, I'm getting gold anyway. Those, those prices doesn't make a difference. So, in this case, I just uh, bend them up normally. And I will use those rings whenever possible. Okay? I just use those rings whenever possible. I'm not I'm not even going to weigh in uh, which timings I should use them. Okay. Next enemy. So, there are uh, robots and like uh, those um, human enemies. So, I don't know which... Ito should be in. I think I'm gonna put Ito on uh, the second team. The first team uh, does have a different robot, uh, so um, I'll put Line on the third team because there are some uh, cryo enemies, I think. The first team, I think Nahida could do well that. <coughs> Assuming that could work. Okay, um, what should we pair Line with? I think I watch like the Good team combination, but I forgot myself which team even works with Lini. Should we do Fabrice? Should we use Bennett? I mean, we already have a shielder. Um, uh, let's try Sing Maybe it could work. I don't know. 
Uh, yeah. When you were given a character you haven't tried before, I mean, of course you have to try them. It, it's in the task run, okay? It's in the task run. But if you given a character that you've never, you've never optimized before, you're gonna fail at optimizing. And look at this, all the buffs uh, when shielded. Okay, shield might work at Ito, and there are some characters is healed. Healed never works. None of our characters are healed, so the third option, gone entirely. The fourth option is about charge attack. Maybe it works with Ito, maybe it, and it works with... Uh, I mean, it works with all of them, okay? Tainari uses charge attack, Lini uses charge, charge attack, Ito may, might use his charge attack. So... The fourth one is very flexible. I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna use them uh, on all of them. I don't know if I should use it on Lini. Lini can definitely use the pyro one because it would help. None of my other team have any pyro on it. So yeah, you you clearly know which team it should belong in. And why do I take so long weighing in decisions for my team? Oh, come on, it's just a buff. Come, I it was just wasting my time. Okay, let's just start. Okay. And here we go with our first team, the Nahida team. Always use your shield, there are no healers. There, none of the HP can be recovered when it's lost. So, keep in mind. Okay, I kill all those uh, robots, the new robot enemies. Uh, definitely have no connection with the ring guards right there. Yeah, basically the same uh, strategy right there. Nahida, I mean, uh, Layla shield, Nahida's skill to capture all of them, photograph. And then uh, make sure to do reaction with Yai, her skill, and then uh, Inari, her skill, charge attack. Very normal, you do them every single time. People apparently call them rotation. I call them, um, I don't know, uh, multiples, whatever. Yeah, basically it's the thing, thing you do every single time you meet enemy. And we are already on our final enemies. How are they so fast? Or, I mean, maybe my team is just too good. At least, remember what I said before, always make make sure your ring is ready when your final enemy spawns in. Because then you will need to use them, uh, yeah, right now, at that moment. So, yeah, as you can see, there's a little bit more, a little bit more, and see, it's full. Use them right now, okay. Um, I think, can I just kill this guy first before like, I use it? Okay, it might help. Okay, he's almost dead. Should, should I? Yeah, those decisions will mess up your mind. Like, should I kill this guy first or I should use them, like, right now or whatever. <sighs> okay, shouldn't be much of a problem. We're not aiming for 20,000 again. It's, a, it's, it's really simple. Once you get to know the, like, the subsequent ways or, like, how to optimize it, you should be fine. It, it's not that hard. It, the challenge is uh, very self-explanatory. Yeah, and of course I go for the times four multiplier. Always go for the highest, and because it works. Yeah, I'm not trying to like flex. I do it because it works. And okay, not enough time. Let's get to the next team. Our next team, I believe, is Ito. Yeah, exactly, it's Ito. And always use Ito in enemies that don't care about elements, such as this one right here. Exactly. So, you kill the first guy first with the ring and they're gone, go to the next enemy, uh, here, of course, activate all those skills, buff them, I don't even know, use Ito's first directly to kill those enemies faster so that you can get to the next batch or groups instantly, however, these enemies act, apparently don't like to group together, so it takes a couple of more times. Yeah, sometimes uh, Ito team fails in places or uh, in some situations where the enemies just don't group together. And that applies to fungi, uh, slimes maybe, but more apparent in those. Uh, what is the floating thing? Silly? No, they have no. They, ha they have a name. I forgot. That's the thing you farm for to get the material. I forgot a name. And we, is this the final enemy? Is it just too fast? Uh, okay, let's try it. So, yeah, that's the thing I made in the abyss. Okay, it's the final enemy, okay. So, it made sense, okay. Uh, they do like this rotation thingy, with, which I think does damage. Uh, yeah, and it sucks. Although, when you kill it, like, um, I, I don't know if there's any, like, 
specific things you need to do to avoid his attack. I don't really see them or I learn from them because there's no point. You're going to kill them anyway. Like, just kill it. Like, what do you have to overthink about? The more you overthink, the more you're making things complicated for yourself. Like, okay, just kill it and you're done. You just recharge your uh, rings, you see those enemies, just use them directly. I mean, right at that moment so that you don't waste your ring and the time runs out. You have five more seconds. I mean, I can just leave this whatever and nothing will change. Like, five seconds, not enough to even kill anything. Okay, our third team, which is our Lini team. Uh, Lini is my second Fontaine character and my last in the chain of five star luck. Ooh, yes, he was the last. However, um, not like I care. I, I've studied enough to learn how it wor he works. I think charge attack and then uh, skill. I guess that's how it works. I kind of forgot because it's been a long time. Yeah, <laughs> when you learn how to use a character and you don't use the character you learn how to use, it's going to go nowhere, right? Your muscle memory has to learn, not just from your mind, not just learn, not just from what you remember from the video. But yeah, uh, I think that could work. Also, uh, I think his HP has to do with something, I don't know, I forgot about it. Also, yeah, and uh, we already got our final enemies, goodbye, there you go. Okay, so the good thing about the ring is that it went through the enemy's shield. For example, this Lao Shou has those uh, cryo shields, which, uh, yeah, uh, just use those like ring recharge and then the shield is gone and he's dead, like literally. So uh, that's the thing that I have to worry less about because it just bypassed the shield, which is great. And yeah, I have to beat this thing until the time runs out. So basically that's it. Final enemies always repeat and never stops. It's an endless perpetual spawning of those enemies and yeah you know i'm not very good at utilizing the character i don't really have there we go uh it is my it's my attempt at using his burst i, I think his burst respawn like these his friends i think in chinese they call them mao 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 although i forgot what it's called in english i just call them mao 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 because it's it's funny i guess and there you go our final blast Strongly burst! Uh, uh, let's just use it, okay? For the funny. Yep, it, it runs out. I mean, look at Zhongli po posing for uh, the Tian Dong Wan Xiang, although there's not really any use for it. Okay, three challenges so far, and we have done um, very great. And let's go to the next enemies. Uh, okay, a very clear first. I think first, um, let's use our E2 to our third team. And the second, of course, uh, let me check. Okay, of course, Aramite, Ito, very great match. Second, I think I'm gonna use Nahida. And then the first, I can... Should I use Nuvidat on the second or the first one? Hmm. Can Nahida, like, fend off enemies in the first one? Or should I use Nahida on the second one? Because my mind tell is telling me Nahida should kill those fungi because it's what Nahida is designed to do with all the team. I think let's try Nuvidat on the first one. But then we also have Kazuha. Kazuha mixes elements, right? I don't think Fungi has elements, but I think Kazuha would be useful to group enemies together, especially when uh, there are a couple of persons in the enemies. There are some type of enemies that have a lot of uh, characters, such as the human type, Fungi, Slime, whatever, and there are some that doesn't have a lot of characters, such as the robots, like, if, like those ring guards thing. I think... Uh, that's that's gonna be it, okay. And let me check. Our team should be fine, right? Should we pair Novilla with a character that can do dendro damage? Like, should I put Nahida there with Novilla? Or should I just go with uh, this team? I mean, if I put Nahida, then I, I'd have no healer, I guess, if, if we use it. Uh, Yai? I don't know, it's... Um, yeah, there's also like some plunging attack damage. None of my character can do plunging attack damage. And when a character triggers Hydro Lit, okay. So first and fourth can only be applied to our first team because that's when any Hydro is present at all. 
also there are some like um, healing no none of my characters can be healed so again our third buff is absolutely useless there are no use for it so we are left with the first and fourth which can which can only be used for our first team or maybe there are some fungi that can use hydro no no hydro of course they thought about it they thought about when can people use the villa they don't want to see all those immune stuff okay and so we're back <clears throat> okay so this is uh, going to be uh, the team where <laughs> any hydro is applied at all our other teams will not have hydro so our first and fourth buff is entirely for this one and people say that Nudilat is uh, is an interesting character because uh, when you think about that, how do you use him? I, I haven't learned how to use him. Seriously, how do you use him? Uh, maybe skill first before you like charge attack. I don't I don't even know how to use him. Okay, this is to show that I haven't learned how to use him. Or did I skip his test one accidentally? I, I I have no idea. However, let me just tell you something. Okay. This character, Nuvilak, is known because you can finish an entire abyss chamber without meeting any other character. Just let that sink in. Imagine people making an entire team thinking which one will pop the HP, which one will buff, which one will mix in those elements, just for them to, well, get beaten off by a single Nuvilak. I think this is crazy. Yeah, I, I, of course, I haven't no. I, I haven't learned this uh, particular use yet. So I might not be able to use or maximize his output damage today. So yeah, he was pretty crazy, and it's not like I haven't tried to get him. I did, which uh, I, I did exactly after I finished this event. And it resulted in nothing, I got quit here. Well, so that ends our streak, our, our 5 star streak. Our luck that never ends from the 3 point X update. And it ends with Kuching or Nuvilet, whatever, whichever you blame for that. Anyway, I don't really care. I don't know how to use him, and that's it. There you go. Okay, our, uh, our second team. We're going to need to be fighting against all of those fungi or mushrooms or whatever you want to call them however uh, I've defeated them multiple times in the abyss so it's pretty normal of course take, take a picture your CIA and maybe defend yourself with shield if possible always use shield because I use Naida with shield not with healer not because I don't know which one is better but because I don't have a good shield I mean healer Cookie Shinobu could work, but I don't trust her at the moment, so I'm using this team. And it's just a perpetual thing, I just use all those sprite reactions over and over again because it works. So I use it. Exactly. And we already got our uh, final enemies, I think. Okay, I'll use all this, there we go. Okay. Uh, also, one thing that I've observed is that uh, I will always get to level 3, right? When I don't get to level 2, I think that the ring kill enemy, not based on number, but based on fixed ratio uh, of their HP. For example, it drains, for example, if you go to level 2, I think it drains up to 75% of their, of their HP instead of a fixed number. So, yeah, <laughs> you're really missing out a lot if you don't get to level 3. Keep that in mind. Another thing that I wanted to point out is uh, that's just it. it. There may be some little variations uh, with different levels with how the rings particularly behave, like it moves or whatever. Uh, yeah, that's all. There's not really much to learn. You just do damage. And that's it. There's nothing uh, particularly uh, hard about this one. You just do exactly if you can do the okay i think i actually pressed it not a good timing let's see how many enemies can defeat no it, it, it was terrible yeah but i but i gotta use it because you know the time time is running out it's not great yeah sometimes uh in final enemies when i defeat like 
One, one X. Specific enemy, the other one will spawn. That's what I wanted. But when that doesn't happen, it ultimately ruins the our sa my sacrifice because then I don't get to use my ring. It's it really is a gamble, and it really needs you to think about which enemy have you have you defeated, which one have you haven't, and how the spawn even works in the first place. So yeah, you need to really think as well. That's the only thing thing you need to think about. And so yeah, the rest is fine. These are the Aramans game. They, they made some reappearance. I don't have problems with them because, well, I've tried defeating them multiple times and there is always no problems in doing so. So, yeah. And you can see that it's full. Again, in this case, always kill all of those enemies and make sure that when the enemies do respawn, a bunch of them do, not just a single person. Okay, there you go. They take particularly, particularly a long time. Maybe because I don't have any buffs here. Okay, a bunch of enemies spawn. Use the ring right away. That's the best use of this. Okay, there you go. Poof, they're, they're dead. And the next one will spawn. And it's full again. You can use them again. Okay, uh, it's right to use them exactly at the times when they're designed to be used, like this one. Okay. I, I think I spent uh, too long because the enemy, the next batch of enemies spawns, like the ring is already set up already. So yeah, I think uh, our, our Ito team is not going to do very well, especially here, because this uh, place relies heavily on Hydro and healing, which would be great for uh, Pokemon, Hydro Healer. And, uh, let me see if I can talk to this. Oh, come on, what do I get frozen? I'm just gonna use my ring, okay? I'm not going to risk losing my ring to nothing. I'm just gonna kill all of them, okay? All right. Yeah, that was a good decision because I couldn't figure out how to finish them. And of course, I finished with another person's burst again. 11,000. Uh, 11, quite good, I think. Should be quite good. I mean, we're not aiming for anything higher. We're not aiming for 20,000, so I think that's good. As long as we get gold, I'll say it's good. Even when it's terrible or barely gold, I'll say it's good, as long as we get our goal. Okay, our third enemies, of course, is the human and robots. Definitely Ito, right there, right out of the bat. And the first is the Hillertrill. Hillertrill, I... Th sh should we use, like... Uh... Okay, I can't see the buff unless I fill, a, fill a, at least one character for the party. So yes, I, I can't just read the buff right away, okay? I'm just gonna read the enemies. So, uh, the healer trolls, I think Naida should go there, I think, or no? Or should we use uh, this new character? Uh, I can't, I forgot his name, like exact name, Wero, Werosley? I, I don't know, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna call him that. And, and I don't even know what kind of team hero, Werosley, whatever, should be on. So I think I'm just gonna do the freeze reaction. I've seen a couple of videos of people trying to use him and intentionally breaking him with a buck that makes him invincible because he keeps attacking at the same time and therefore produces a damage which is yeah they they fix it they literally the, like the developer had to fix it and they give us free primer gems yeah props up to whoever discovered it free primer gems for everyone anyway that's it i i think there are a couple of like high cryo related buffs and then the characters normal attack hits opponents normal attack could be useful for ito and also elemental mastery elemental mastery is useful for my dendro team i think and the rest is um should be fine actually i don't think cry teams necessarily need elemental mastery that much compared to the other and then there's also an hp is below yeah it could work if there's only hu tao here hu tao is not here so that's a definite no. The third one's not gonna be useful in any of the cases. I use a shield. And if I use a healer, it's even more useless. So I think we're gonna keep the buff as is. So let's get started. Okay, we're starting off with our first team and our final challenge of this one. Yeah, I, I forgot again. Okay, I I'm just gonna use my ring. Okay, actually now the ring changes. I thought only the speed was manipulated. Like, I feel like the speed was changing on the previous levels, but now I do realize that the, the ring itself can deform, I guess. Yeah, and of course, this is a healer chill. It's easy, just do the exact same thing over and over again, and wait for the final enemies to approach you. 
It's as easy as it goes. Very easy. It's not even that hard. There you go. And it, they're gone. With Zainari's very good energy recharge, this isn't a problem at all. Uh, it, it was an excess. I mean, I was I farmed for for his for his artifact, and I got excess energy recharge. Somehow, look at that. Those sour trolls will not know. Okay, I, I, okay, I missed. Him. That was a miss input. Okay, see level two. It, it will not kill everyone. Nobody is killed because it drains enemies HP in a fixed ratio instead of a fixed number. Yeah, you know the difference. If you if you are a math guy, you do know. Okay. If you don't know, get out of here. And oh, okay, come on! How long does it take? Okay. Uh, thankfully, that also means that we have enough time to charge our ring again and don't mess up. Okay. Level three, everyone's dead. Okay. Next one. We have faced off our final enemies, which means this is the type of group that will keep spawning. So another variety, I guess. I mean, that is great for high points and not having to worry about the enemy spreading. But yeah, uh, those are the final enemies, okay? That's the only thing you're gonna face after you face them. That's it. And you just have to keep killing them over and over again. And hope that this guy can be killed before... Okay, I'm not risking it, okay? I'm not risking my time for waiting to this guy to be killed. So I'm gonna do it right now, okay? It's gone, unfortunately. Yeah, drastic measures. At least we're not risking anything. Okay, our, ne our next team. Which is um, this new character right here. Uh, let me read his name. Real, real sleep. Real sleep. Uh, I don't know. Actually, let me just use his bird. Let's see how it works. I don't. I still don't know how it works. By the way, maybe I should read a character's talent first before ever trying to do this challenge with a trial character. Maybe that would help. But uh, other than that, I don't really know. Yeah. And then you shuffle, shuffle for buff. I think holding his, I mean, her skill for buff could work. I don't know. And then that's it. You just punch people. The first ever electro, I mean, cryo claymore. Uh, cryo. Uh, what do you call them? Catalyst. Cryo catalyst. First cryo catalyst since the game's release. Wow, how amazing! It's been three years, and that's the only thing that. Uh, missing is a cryo catalyst. Wow, how amazing! Back then, we, I think we also like, yeah. Sometimes some very weird combination did not get released, and now oh, there you go. And our first, I mean, our second male catalyst user. And I don't know somehow all our male catalysts are always punching the people. Is that, is that the norm? I guess, maybe. Okay, so there go. Bonus first, so that our first will be stronger. And then this guy first. Um, no, actually, I don't. I'm not gonna use his first. I just we just wasted our buff so that we can kill enemies faster. There you go. It's always worth it. Uh, yeah, sometimes timing is this. It's not very great. However, you just have to make the most use of it. Okay. Should help up again and then use uh, Worsley. I don't know. I, I don't even know how it works. I just all I care about is that I can use Shuffle for a buff, and then I know it will increase the damage somehow, some way or the other. I don't know. And we don't even get to use our ring in the last moment. It, it was charging, but it wasn't enough, I guess. Okay, next one. <sighs> okay, final one. Ito, let's go. <sighs> okay. Again, same enemies. I think the robots, yeah, they they really trying to show off the new Fontaine enemies here. Yeah, because I don't know, they, they the game somehow like to introduce new things right off the bat to new players. Like for the first time I went to Sumeru in the 3.1 update, right? I was just scared, right. The new region is the, is the desert, and you know what the game told me? Go straight to the westernmost point of the desert and do something there. Like, oh, you haven't explored? Screw you, you gotta do it now. Like, the game's forcing players to explore. Like, calm down, we're taking things slow, okay? Take things slowly. You, you don't have to force players to explore the whole region or the whole map like that. 
take things slow. Okay, come on. Not everyone's at the same pace as you. Not everyone needs to explore exactly on the same day. Not everyone has to have a 100% exploration on everything on the first week of the update's release because then you have nothing else to do in the next part of the game. You need to take things slow, okay? Take things slow, enjoy the fun while it lasts. That's the, the most important thing. It's not that, screw you, go here, go here, explore everything, get everything, get started, and scavenge all the stuff. No, don't do that. If you have your friends who do that, uh, maybe, okay, if you play multiple games, you, you should allow him to do that. But if he is a Genshin player, uh, mostly, tell him, don't do it. Don't scavenge everything in week one. You're gonna lose the fun, okay? The point of fun is to enjoy it slowly. Don't explore everything in one week. I mean, you've seen players do that, who make videos about that. If you make videos, especially on where the chests are, where the location, where the exploration, it's fine. But when you're not doing that, why bother? It sucks. Okay, explore things slow, take things slowly, and enjoy every fun in the game while it lasts. And that is all the challenge for today. I think that's that's all, I guess. There's no other thing. And so, we can finally claim all of our rewards. And I hope we don't have our uh, pen crystal full. And yeah, of course, double click. That's my, um, my, my strategy so I can claim the reward faster. So I don't have to wait for animations like that. Of oh, course, this sucks. Okay. Yeah, that's the only thing that you have to worry about. Okay. I don't, I'm not aiming for twenty thousand. Okay. I'm not going to try to be greedy today here. And so that's it. I think I am very satisfied with what I get. Um, actually, how how many prime gems will I have after this? Um, I mean, how many wish can I do? I'm just gonna wait for a little bit, you know, just to wait in the time a little bit, okay? Do, do you guys usually wait for like these animations that, that place whenever you get like some uh, five star item on that or, or something like that? Let me check the battle pass, so there you go, battle pass should give you like the items, I mean like so much X XP because you just completed an event, like, like a specific type of requirement in the event, so yeah. Okay, it's progressing much faster. Okay, let me check the shop. Okay, let me check the mail first. Mm, only one for Xiaoling. Not much from anyone else. Okay. Alright. Yeah, of course, and then the signature this and... Uh, what is that thing? I wonder what is that? A bullet fruit. Never seen them. Could have, could have been from Frontaine, but whatever. I'm just gonna claim them. And next is to check. Okay, let me see. Is that new? Okay, I, I apparently never got selling signature dish. I don't know. Whatever. Let me just check. Um, okay, how many promises do I have? So I think when I've completed the previous event, which is uh, Waterborne Poetry, there are like three events.